Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And it is a rainy, windy, miserable day down here in South Florida. I want to be offshore fishing to tell you God's honest truth because we've only got a couple more days of grouper season. I'd love to be deer hunting, but it's point I don't. So my options are limited. So I'm sitting around the house and my little brother, who is also a YouTuber, check him out, his name's Blue Gabe. He's like, yo, let's go out to the ranch and go catch some fish. Put on your rain jackets. Frog dogs, here we come. What's up, man? How you doing, Rob? I'm uh, doing good, doing good. So what's the name of your shop? Trooper Farms Bait and Tackle. There you go. This is the newest little tackle shop here in town. Super cool place. If you live in Jupiter Farms, it's easy. How did you get a donut? From my mama. This is super cool. We're gonna grab these shiners, we're gonna go out to the ranch, and who knows, we may catch bass, catfish, mudfish, turtles, you never know. Mudfish have crazy teeth, so you gotta use a circle hook, so you hook them in the corner of the jaw. Um, typically, with a fish that has a lot of teeth, I'll tie a loop knot. Now, if I'm fishing for like sailfish with a circle hook, or largemouth bass, I'll snell it. But, a snell, is easy to be cut if a fish has teeth. How do you bite the line that fast? Good gosh. I don't know if y'all noticed, but he bites that line like, and it's gone. Like I'm over here gnawing on it. He just bit that line like it's butter. Using 20 pound test leader, we got a storm blowing in and we're under the gun. A lot of y'all that buy these domestic shiners, they're actually held in these tanks and the water's a lot colder than the air. And if you let them get up to room temperature, they won't be near as feisty. So if you use one of these little dry boxes, it'll keep them real cold until you get ready to use them. And that's your tech tip of the week, brought to you by Blue Gabe, Blue Gabe Incorporated. <laughs> Just got picked up by something rather large. That's a mudfish. Now, how are you going to land him? I have no idea because he just got me down in something. That was a big one too. Should I walk down in there and try to get him out? <clears throat> Broke him off right there. All right, we got bad weather blowing in. We're going to go to a new spot. <laughs> well, that was a bummer. Broke him off. But um, while I head to this next spot, check this out. On Christmas Day, I brought Aria out here fishing. And look at what she caught. Hold your rod of pie. Oh my gosh, Aria, that's a giant mudfish. Hold your rod of pie, bring him over here. Look. Come on. Pick your rod of pie. Now reel down to him. Good job, now back up. Back up, keep backing. Come on, back him all the way up. Let's see if we can get him. It's okay, don't worry, we'll get you. We'll get your, come on, keep backing him up. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, what are you, keep going, keep going. Back up more, walk back. Walk back, keep going, keep going. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Give me five. There you go. Okay, don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. Let's set this down. High five. Look at that. Oh my gosh. How did you get your food away? <laughs> hey, you guys, what a blessing. It's my girl. Now, let's see if daddy can replicate. It's wet. You say shh like they can hear me or something. Look at that gator's been laying right there where you're about to walk up. Yeah. That was him laughing at you. Hitch it over there by that tree. Right past it. All right, whatever. Not in the tree. We're gonna use it just like a, oh, like no. a kite bait. Oh, oh, I got one right here too, Gabe. 
I got one right here. Don't say uh, when I'm out here the I got a fish right here, dude. Hold on, I don't know what I got, but I got something right here. Let me catch this. Oh, I got a bass. Look at that. There you go, a large mouth. I'm scared to get any closer. Oh, the water is so cold. Just walk out there. It's not deep, literally it's just. Freezing cold. No. Oh, and that come gator's on. out here. Woo! That's freezing. <laughs> yeah, there he is. It looks like a gar, Gabe. Did it spin it? No, I got him right here, but it looks like a garfish. We're light tackle fishing out here, y'all. Why don't you eat the gar? You got that joker hooked, too. Yeah, I do. There we go. Whoa! He's a jumper. He's a jumper. He's a jumper. Come here, rascal. There you go. Come here. These suckers are A, they feel like they're armor plated, and B, they're slimy as all get out. Why okay. don't you just eat that? It's a fat one. It is a fat one. I'll agree with you there. Make those. I want you to make fish cakes. We can do it. I got the stuff at camp to make fish cakes also. I was trying like heck to catch a bowfin. We didn't get it done, but I have an idea on how to cook that garfish. We're gonna go back to camp, clean them, then we're cooking them. Hey, you owe me a truck wash too. Let's do it. Yo, look at this brand new truck. This brand new Paul Thigpen Chevrolet is gonna get nasty as we drive out of here. And you can't just take a normal knife and clean a garfish. You gotta have some of these heavy duty shears, like scissors. Take this, you start off with your knife. They have really hard scales, so you go up under the, under it like that. Gabe, have you ever cleaned a garfish? Just like that, all the way around. This is the most important part. Cut him right down the back. Hear how hard that is? That's why you gotta have these. Make sure they're heavy duty. That's a little silver stag Damascus. And uh, all you do is take this and it's, it's, it's almost like, almost like you're cleaning a gator. It's the very similar moves. You're not gonna cut through the meat, or through the skin though. See that? There you go. You just peel this right on back. Gabe, have you ever eaten a gar? No. And the bigger they are, the easier they are to clean, believe it or not. So now that is our cleaned out gar. You could cut this into chunks, salt it and pan fry it or deep fry it, but I want just the meat off of it. So I'm gonna cut these loins off. It'll lay down flat on its back just like that. Looks like gator tail. It looks, it, it feels like gator tail. It definitely looks like good meat. Mm -hmm. And these bones, they come down and fold out like that. That's one. On that small gar, we still got two nice loins. All we're gonna do is just cut them into, cut these into chunks like that. Now watch this. We got our fish cut up, sweet onion, cream corn, Everglades, and this is the kicker. See this? I just bought all of them that they had there at, at uh, Publix, because for whatever reason they don't hold it anymore. House Autry, Hush Puppy Mix with Onion. If you see it, buy it. This stuff is good. In Publix, you should keep selling it. Throw that in there, just like that. Take your fish, 
throw it in there. Your onion, all of this good love and goodness. Throw it right in there. Take your cream corn, throw it in there, and then go get yourself a spoon. Take yourself just a little bit of Everglades. And before I add water, I like to mix this up. See this watch. When you do this, all that all that hush puppy mix, it sticks to your meat. It sticks to your onion and everything else. And it starts to bond. Now, take some water. You don't have to add too terribly much. 20 years ago he made these things for me and they were good. There you go. That's, that's the perfect consistency that you're looking for right there. How y'all like that? When you go to a football game or a party like this, these are a major hit. Sometimes, I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. When you have your mixture, take a little butter, or uh, butter, a little uh, uh, syrup, and add syrup into it. And that'll give it just a little bit sweeter of a flavor. Now the reason I did that is because I'm almost out of honey. I always put honey on top of it. trying to concentrate here and get these things cooked right. Here's a scoop. When you go to deer camp or if you're around your buddies or whatever, make a pot of these up. You can use shrimp, fish, lobster. You can use whatever you want. Put it together, fry it up. Everybody winds up coming around the cooker while you're cooking. That makes you the popular dude. Get you some honey and just pour it on there. Just enough. We just came out here and caught some fish, came back, cleaned them up. Now that we're gonna let Gabe's friend Christy try it. But I would let it cool off. Here, hold it. I would let that cool off if I were you. Try one of those, Gabe. <laughs> That's really good. I just got a big piece of the fish, and it's good, really good. That is so insanely good. <laughs> that is so insanely good. Mm. You never think that. Who would think to do that? But that's just making the most out of what you got. Now, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna watch the rest of this destruction, and uh, congratulations to LSU. I know the uh, offensive coordinator had a very huge family tragedy just this morning or last night with the plane crash. So you never know when it's your last day. So enjoy every day to the fullest. This is amazing, but we are gone. <laughs>